Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to Phase Outside. So, I'm going to be doing a little review on the Primos trigger stick. This is the Gen 3, and this is the single. Um, they make a bipod and they also make a tripod as well. Um, I do have a tripod one, it is the Generation 1 though, and it's pretty heavy. But um, these things are really, really cool. Um, so anyway, it's a uh, major Primos specs in China, um, but it's got their quick detach system. Check that out real quick. Uh, smoother panning, aerogonomic, I think I said that right. Anyway, pistol grip, um, pull the trigger to adjust the height. So right here, it's got two different um, stages for it. So it says hold here, and then pull down to extend. So you can pull it down. And there's that. And then also, you can take and uh, hit the trigger right here. This is the trigger, and it drops. So you can do that as well. Um, you can just easily compress it, or if you wanted, you can just do that part without having to extend the bottom. These things are pretty awesome. And I mainly got this for when I'm backpacking, especially for when I'm with my kids. And it just makes it a whole lot easier um, for them and it's not really heavy the tripod one is actually pretty heavy and this is going to make them um i think more confident to shoot when we're backpacking and we get up on some animals and uh it's going to be more stable and it'll give them a better shot which is better shot placement which is that's all we want is good shot placement to quickly dispatch that animal um with good ethical um, shot placement so anyway it says a min height of 33 inches and a max height of 65 so there it is there it's got a one-year warranty and yeah so it's one-handed and it kind of gives you a little detailed thing right there what's cool about these is it's got a pivot head but you they also sell different accessories that you can replace this with uh, so I'll post a link in the description below and you can check that out for yourself um, but they also make it to where you could put it um, a camera mount on there you can mount a camera on there and so anyway we're gonna pop this little piece off and we'll take a better look at it all right guys so real quick um, what I want to show you guys is this so I weighed it really quick um, see if I get it to stay on here again so there it is right there I don't know if you all can see that Ooh. There it is, one pound, 7.5 ounces. That's how much it weighs. So even if I set it up this way, let's see if we can try not to put any more weight on it. 1.76, 1.75. So that is the trigger stick. So anyway, we're gonna do this real quick. Sorry for the bumping and moving around, guys. All right, so here it is right here and like I said I'm <clears throat> I'm almost 6'2 so you can actually get down pretty low with this thing if you wanted you can move the pivot head and I'm not going to use uh, the bang stick in this demonstration so anyway you get it down that's pretty much level as soon as I'm sitting low so it would work, work out pretty good for a kid even um, and like I said you can even extend it if you need it to be that would be pretty high so then you just slide it down like that, and then you can adjust this part right here. So there's the trigger. You just pull that trigger. And, I mean, I'm putting a lot of weight on that, and it's not moving. It's locked in really, really well. You can hold that trigger, and you can adjust it. There is no set height for it. You can, I mean, there's locked, and then if you, there, there. So it's pretty awesome. And so with it all the way, we'll have it extended out, and, Right there is, that's kind of actually shooting slightly up for me. And so I could adjust it and get it right to where I need it if I needed it downhill even. I'm shooting downhill. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for it. And it's just, whoops. It's going to be really neat using it for the kids. It's going to um, equate to better shot placement. It's going to make it easier for them, hopefully, give them a little more confidence. On taking a shot when we're out walking or when we're hiking and i mean at a pound 
and 7.5 ounces, you can't beat it, really. Um, it's not something that uh, take lightly when it comes to having somebody be more accurate when you're trying to kill or harvest an animal. And it, it all comes down to shot placement and getting that animal on the ground as humanely as possible. But um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. One other thing that I really like about this is that it comes with a detachable head, the, the pivot head. This part swivels as well, and this also turns. And it comes with, you can also get different accessories for it. It comes with a camera mount accessory that you can get. Um, and I think there's a couple other ones. I'll post a link in the description below on that. But, so this is the button that you're gonna push. And that thing is, that thing is really solid. Uh, kind of out of view there. So there's that. And then it has this little lever on the back. You just flick that down and then you can push that button and it comes out. You can't put it back in the, it only goes on there one way. You could even turn it around, it's the same thing. But then in case you're like, oh, you don't want to hit that, that little button, it's got the safety lock on it right there. So anyway, there it is. So I thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope this video helps you out. And you know, if you got a kid or even you, you want to have one of these, it's just be a lot, it's a lot easier than, you know, having that rifle up. If you're not in a big rush and you can kind of take your time or if you're just on a little walk, you know, um, just going out shooting or whatever, you're on a walk, hunting. Like my dad, he would never walk very far, so he would never take a backpack with him. But um, there were several times where he, I, you know, was with him and he was trying to get steady just on that animal, um, trying to take, get that shot just right. And this would have been absolutely awesome um, for him to have, just to be able to be more stable. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, like I said. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next go around. Have a good day. Bye.